William Faulkner was a Nobel Prize winning American author and one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. His reputation is based on his novels, short stories, essays, and screenplays. Born in New Albany, Mississippi, September 25, 1897, Faulkner was raised and heavily influenced by the Magnolia State, as well as the history and the culture that lied behind the South as a whole. When he was four years old, his entire family moved to a nearby town of Oxford, where he lived on and off for the rest of his life. Oxford was the model town for many of his writing. He was greatly influenced by the history of his family and the region in which he lived. Mississippi marked his sense of humor and his sense of tragic position of blacks and whites. His characterization of southern characters and timeless themes, including fiercely intelligent people dwelling behind the facades of good old boys and simpletons. Unable to join the United States Army because of his height, he was five foot and five and a half inches, Faulkner first joined the Canadian and then the British Royal Air Force, yet did not see any World War I wartime action. In 1929, Faulkner married his teenage sweetheart, Estelle, and they made their home in Oxford, Mississippi. In the early 1940s, a director by the name of Howard Hawks invited William Faulkner to Hollywood to pick up a screenwriter for a film Hawks was directing. Faulkner happily accepted because he badly needed the money and Hollywood paid well. Some of his screen films include The Big Sleep and To Have and Have Not. He became good friends with Hawks and with some of the famous actors of those times. From the early 1920s to the outbreak of World War II, Faulkner left for California. He published 13 novels and numerous short stories, the body of work that grounds his reputation and for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize at the age of 52. His incredible output, mainly driven by his need for money, includes some of his most celebrated novels, such as The Sound of the Fury, 1929, As I Lay Dying, 1930, and Light in August, 1932, just to name a few. Faulkner is known for an experimental style with a meticulous attention to addiction and cadence in contrast to his understated contemporary at that time, Ernest Hemingway, Faulkner made frequent use of his consciousness in his writing and wrote often highly emotional, subtle, complex, and sometimes gothic or grotesque stories of a wide variety of characters. Faulkner served as writer in residence at the University of Virginia from 1957 until his death. In 1959, he suffered serious injuries from horse riding accident and died of a heart attack at the age of 64 on July 6, 1962. William Faulkner, novelist, short story, and poet. His genre is credited as Southern Gothic, and literary movements that he spawned was modernism and the stream of consciousness. Having won two Pulitzer Prizes, his best notable is the Nobel Prize for Literature. He was one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. His reputation will live on and his influence in his body of work.